Hi, this is Sarah White. I'm so Sarah, coming to you live from the Recruiting Innovation Summit at the Facebook headquarters in Northern California. I'm here today with Jenny Devon, who happens to be a speaker, and she is the new manager of social media at Waste Management. And one thing that we're really excited to talk with her about is how to bring social into a company that is traditionally very conservative, because I know that's a challenge a lot of people have, especially ones that can't even get the buy-in to come to an event like this. So can you talk a little bit about what you're doing and what your new role looks like? Well, I'm really lucky because we have a lot of champions at Waste Management, so there's a lot of people on the executive team that see the potential of social media, whether it be to reach out to our customers and get to know them better, to innovate and optimize some of our processes, and then also to really extract value from anything we do. So we want to make sure if we are participating in social media, at the end of the day, it's hitting, hitting our key results that we're looking for. Right. And I think one of the great things you guys are doing and what I'm seeing at more and more organizations is they are really partnering the recruiting social media with the marketing social media and almost creating one function that works on both sides of the, and that's how you guys are set up, correct? Yes, we have a very collaborative environment, which unfortunately is not always the case. You know, my right. work previously at HODIS, you'd have departments that did not work well together. And we do not have those types of conflicts. So, you know, from seeing clients with HODIS that, you know, HR didn't like marketing, didn't like sales, didn't like IT, didn't like, you know, uh, legal, at Waste Management, we have a Waste Management Social Media Council that all collaborates together, right. and talent acquisition and HR are valued on that team. And just to clarify, it's not HOTUS that had those issues, it was the clients you worked yes. with while you were at HOTUS yeah, yeah, yeah. that had those really, issues. I don't want Shannon Siri Gude after yeah. me, yeah. <laughs> no, I will say, it is, it is a challenge because it, in a lot of organizations it is very siloed. So, what are some tips if you are working in a very conservative organization and you really want to champion and influence social media within your organization that you can take as a recruiter or a recruiting leader? My basic thing would be, number one, definitely get to know what processes are valued and how your talent acquisition department is actually measured. Because people in HR often focus on things that don't really matter or impact the bottom line. And so once you know what impacts the bottom line, look for areas of opportunity in social to reach that. Also, it doesn't matter if you start by just broadcasting your jobs. At least you'll have your platforms created. You can show traffic, you can show other analytics, you can show you know, where the traffic is coming from. You might even be able to show all the way up to hire and then right. get more buy-in to social to change your strategy. And I just want to point out, you are the fifth person that has talked about analytics. And it's the first year we're really starting to hear recruiting and social tied into ROI and analytics. And so I'm really excited about that. But what value do you think that really holds? If you have somebody that has never really had to show ROI, do you really think it matters? Yes. yes. I mean, I think some people are lucky and they're doing really well right now because maybe they have a great brand. So when you look like Facebook and all that they have to offer on campus and the culture that they have, you know, they are competing against other tech companies, but it's easy for them to make those hires. When you look at waste management, we're hiring, you know, people with a CDL that we need with a clean safety background that are over the age of 21. You know, we have 1,500 open critical positions across the U.S. and Canada. And so we really are looking for a driver that may not be using social media at all, right. or their spouses, or their girlfriend is, so, um, or their boyfriend. So for us, it's kind of like, how can we use social to leverage those referrals? But we have to measure it. Because right. my assumption may be Facebook would work for recruiting, and if I'm not measuring it, I can't figure that out. Well, looking forward to hearing your presentation, and thank you very much for your time today. Oh, Sarah, always a pleasure.